Well, now we're back with Wee Sun. Wee Sun, your research is in reinforcement learning. What are the major problems that your group and you are trying to solve? The most successful reinforcement learning methods are currently model-free deep reinforcement learning methods. One problem with these methods is that they require very large amount of interactions with the environment to learn. For example, OpenAI 5 played 10,000 years of Dota 2 games against itself in order to achieve its spectacular performance. One reason for this is because the agent does not have knowledge about the world. One of my research directions is trying to understand how to build models of the world and to use the models in reinforcement learning in order to reduce the amount of interactions required to learn. We've seen that reinforcement learning is a pretty general concept. Care to make any predictions about which industries are going to have a big effect with reinforcement learning in the upcoming years? So we all want to have our robot yeah. butler train using reinforcement learning at home and tomorrow. Uh, but that's not going to happen soon. For deployment in the near future, it will more likely provide value in applications that have large amounts of interaction, but relatively low risk when incorrect actions are performed. Applications like ad placements and product recommendations in large internet companies. For example, Facebook is already deploying reinforcement learning for sending push notifications and for doing video prefetching. Thanks, Wee Sun. And with that, we'll end today's lectures. Next week, we are going over neural networks and we'll be starting the deep learning part of our course. So for now, thanks and see you all next week.